Hey guys, it's Melanie here in the same outfit and everything. I only have one day now to video and so I am trying to get as much as that in as possible. You'll definitely get videos every week, maybe twice a week, just depends on what I can do. I'm going to try to get these reviews for you guys going. Today's video though is a haul. I went to the local Christian bookstore that I have near my city. It's actually quite a drive away, but it's actually my favorite and I got books which I'm really excited to share with you guys. You can obviously see I'm in the homeschooling mode. I'm getting quite a lot of books that are in the younger range but I got one in particular that I really wanted to read. I didn't get my other book that I wanted. I will have to continue pre-ordering it instead. It was Melanie Dickerson's book and I was really hoping that it would be at the store but it wasn't so I'll have to pre-order it through Amazon which I will be doing. I went to go do it before and we just, I just got busy and I forgot to follow through with the pre-order. So anyways, I'll have to do that another day. Regardless, if you see me sipping on my coffee, I am so tired. I really, really need coffee. So I might take a couple breaks just to sip on my little coffee that's sitting over here because I really need it today. And I have this funny thing in my hair today because my daughter requested that I wear it and so I did. For her because she's my daughter and I love her. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is actually an audiobook. I want to get this book, but it's an audiobook. It's the Prince Warriors by Priscilla Shire. I think that's how you say her last name. And she is also paired up with Gina Detweiler or Willer in this audiobook I and book version. I really, really wanted to read this. It's all about the it's um a middle grade kind of style book and it's all about your faith and your walk in your faith and just being a warrior for Christ and but it's based on a story like a fictional story so I'm really excited to read this book in audio version while we're in our vehicle driving we also got a couple of interest and odyssey cds and so we're excited about that and we've already listened to most of them <laughs> but this is the one I got for me as well as the kids so that's this one here then my one son picked out this book. It is Bogus Mind Machine, Bill the Warthog and Mysteries. So very cute little uh, set. I am really excited to see what it's all about. I have no idea what this is about, although I do think it looks really funny and hilarious and I'll probably end up reading it at some point. The author is Dean Anderson. So that was his pick, my son's pick. So I thought that was pretty cute. The other ones we got as readers to kind of go with our homeschooling, so I'll kind of go by them fast. This is, I love the fact that Zonder Kids puts this out. Um, it's with in Living Lights Faith Stories set series. This is the Bernstein Bears Brother Bear and the Kid Kind Cub. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, see if I can get out of here. There you go. Then we have this one here, and it's Do Not Fear God Is Near. It's an I Can Read Bernstein Bears. Then I got uh, God Made the Seasons uh, for the Bernstein Bears one. Then I got the Bernstein Bears and the Little Lost Cub one. Really cute. And the I Can Read God Made the Colors. So yeah, we are going to incorporate this into our reading in our homeschool uh, because it just it's really nice having obviously their scripture based as well as the fact that they are easy to read and learning a lot of good values or good concepts. Then I picked up, which I actually started reading already and I know everybody's gonna hate me because of doggy ear, but look, I already got so much into this the other night. I got this book, The Glass Castle, by Jerry B. Jenkins and Trisha White Preeb, or Pribe, I can't remember how to say her last name, but I got this because I just finished Princess Academy, you guys saw my review up on it, and I, I, want, I saw this and I thought, oh, this might be very similar. It has a different feel to it, this book, so far going in. Um, basically, Avery and her brother gets kidnapped and are taken into this castle and so uh which she thinks is a castle that's where i'm at right now and it's very interesting to see there's a whole bunch of other kids there but they're getting fed really good food and they have really beautiful clothing so i'm, I'm really interested to see how the story is going to go it's kind of creepy kind of scary and it's a middle grade book so we'll see how the story goes i'm really excited to read it anyways and so yes i picked this up as well 
Then I picked up, because we're kind of getting into these graphic novels, this book here. It's called Raising Dragons Graphic Novel. It's by Brian Davis and James Art Vile, or Ville. And it is a book about a boy learns of his dragon's past. A girl has known of hers for years. They combine their faith, courage, and love to overcome an evil slayer who seeks to bring an end to dragon heritage forever. So it looks kind of cool. I'm really excited about that. And it's faith-based, which is awesome. Then I got a couple other really cool books. My son has, I bought these before him before. This is the third in the series. It's The Dead Low Tide, The Caden Chronicles. And so we actually don't know where the first two books went. I don't even know where they are. And it's funny because I bought them for him a while ago and I thought they were in his room. So I'm gonna double check to see because I bought this one to go with the set. And so he could just read it all in one shot or I could read them and so I don't know where they are so we have to figure out where they are and get them back so we don't have this one just sitting there by itself then I got Mice of the Round Table I saw this cover I'm just gonna give you guys a little shot of it so so cute and it's the Tale of Camelot by Julie Long or Lang, I don't know how to say that, of course. But it's young mice Caleb Christo Christopher dreams of the day when he will become a knight of Camelot, like his father and grandfather before him. For generations, Caleb's family has lived among the mice that dwell beneath the human knights of the round table, defending the castle they all call home. Caleb just hopes he will be able to live up to the Christopher name. So cute. I cannot wait to read this. And obviously it's Face Bath. It's um, by HarperCollins Children's. Uh, it's really cool cover and you guys have to see the inside. It's just beautiful. Look at this, you guys. That is just like awesome. It's awesome. That's super nice. So I'm excited about this book. I can't wait to read it. And it even has the um, edging that's torn like. It's so fun. I love this. Last children's book is The Hallelujah Flight by Phil Bildner and illustrated by John Hollyfield. This book looks really, really cool. Uh, it's Join the Flying Hobos on the Journey of a Lifetime. Super fun. I love the illustrations in this book. Gorgeous. And I just love the diversity of it and the time. Just so nice. Anyways, yes, that's the last one of the children's books. And then mine is this one, A Name Unknown by Rosanna White. So I read a book by Rosanna White and I absolutely loved it. Then I saw on Goodreads that everybody was reading this one and had super high regard for it and high ratings. Plus, A Girl in the Library? Like, yes, I love it. So this is the first of the Shadows of Over England, and so I'm excited. This will be the first of the series that I'm reading, so I'm super happy about that. But also, I really love Rosanna White's writing style. She has a really great writing style. She's an excellent author, and I heard nothing but great stories about this book. So I'm excited to read it. It will be on my TBR list. I'm hoping I'll get to it by Christmas, because <laughs> my TBR is huge. Anyways guys, I'm hoping that you guys had a really great time getting books for this coming up months or what you've been reading. I'll be excited to hear about all of that in the comments below. I kind of been MIA. This whole homeschooling thing has just taken me by a windstorm and so I'm kind of getting my bearings and we're trying to figure out routines. There's a lot going on in my house now and so quiet times, reading times, and my time has been taken over. And so we're, I'm trying to balance everything in my life, and as I do, you guys will be a part of that, as well as my reading, you will be a part of that. Anyways, hope everything is going great for you guys, and definitely comment in below. If I don't get to them, it's so encouraging for me to read them anyways, so, and I do read every single one of them. So thank you so much for those who participate with me, and on Instagram, Bookstagram area, that's super fun to see all your comments and encouragement. I love it. Again, we'll talk to you soon. Bye!